Hi guys. Today, I'll be showing you how to repair a DJI Phantom 4 remote controller. This controller has a low battery issue. Whenever I press the power button, only one LED comes up, which means the battery is low. I have charged it for hours, and even then it says low battery. So now, I'll be tearing it down. For the repair, you'll need a Phillips screwdriver, some resistors, and a soldering station. Now, we have the USB board. To get this out, we need to unscrew three more screws, and get these three ribbon cables out carefully. We have the USB board out. It provides the USB interface for connecting a mobile or a tablet. We are at the final disassembly. Use a slotted screwdriver, or a tweezer, to peek through the edges of the controller. There are clips inside, holding the whole chassis, so open it firmly. Don't apply too much force as I did, or else, you'll break the whole chassis. We have the main board now. Firstly, disconnect the battery. We have a 2-cell 6000 mAh LiPo here. Keep a multimeter in handy and calculate the battery voltage, and since, it's a 2-cell LiPo, and for a healthy LiPo the voltage should be between, 6.6 to 8.4 volts. It's around 8 volts which means the battery is at least 75% charged, and the controller is detecting it discharged and thus, there is something wrong with the voltage sensing circuit on the main board, not the battery. Now, we'll have a closer look at the voltage sensing circuit on the main board. We have three terminals here, GND, V-cell, and BAT. sense is the highest voltage the battery can charge up to. GND senses the least voltage, which is ground. V-cell senses the voltage from the voltage divider circuit since the voltage dividing circuit is dead. So, we'll have to make our own. We'll have to connect a 80k ohm resistor between BAT and V-cell. And a 100k ohm resistor between V-cell and GND. Here are the resistors. Since, I don't have a 100k ohm, and a 80k ohm resistor, I'll make my own. 200k in parallel. A 10k and a 68k in series. Solder the resistors as per the circuit diagram.
we are done with soldering part. Double check for short circuits before connecting the battery. If everything looks fine, connect the battery. Press the power button twice, and hold it for a second until it boots and calibrates the battery voltage. Voila! It worked! Only 3 LEDs are blinking, which means the battery is about 75% charged, which makes it around 8 volts and even the multimeter showed 8 volts. This battery can charge up to 8.4 volts, which would mean the battery is 100% charged, that makes our calculation perfect. You can refer to this chart for voltage level and battery percentage relation. Thank you for watching, and please do like and subscribe to my channel. I'll take your leave now. Bye.